Hi, I'm going to show you how to send and receive emails using your Gmail uh, with different email accounts that you can add all into your one account so it's easier for you to manage and also label them accordingly. So what you need to do first of all is we need to add um, an email account that we can receive emails from. So to do that we click on the settings icon at the top right hand corner and click on mail settings and then we go to accounts and imports and then we select the option add pop3 mail account of your own this will allow you to receive emails using um, the pop3 uh, and it'll, it'll, it'll import the emails into your gmail so we click on that and we add the email address that we want to import emails from <clears throat> for test purposes I'm going to use this email address here which is info at dermalepo.com click on next and then it asks us for the username so whatever your username that you enter when you uh, type in your uh, pop details or when you check your emails that's the username so in this instance the username is the same and if you're hosting your emails using our Alrace hosting control panel then your username would be exactly the same as your email address and then we enter the password so we'll put the password in and then you put your pop settings and the pop settings you can receive you can get this from your uh, email provider uh, again if it's using the Alrace control panel then it's mail.yourdomainname.com we leave the port how it is and if you want to leave a copy um, of the message on the server you can tick that box but since you're going to be retrieving everything you might as well just leave that unticked and uh, this one here you can label incoming mails so if a mail comes to info at dermalepo.com you can create a new label so I'm going to create a new label click on new and you call this uh, email test <clears throat> or you can name it whatever you like and then we click on add account and then it will ask you for an option if you want to also send emails from info at Dermalepo so when you send an email um, you can choose I'm sending from info so you just click on next and you type in the name that you want so I'll just put, type in here my company name and click on next and then you have an option send through Gmail or send through SMTP it's easier if you set up using Gmail uh, but if you want to set up SMTP you have to enter your username and your password and uh, change uh, your SMTP details but for the ease uh, for uh, this demo purpose we'll just select send using Gmail which is easier uh, and it still does the same job now once you've done this you need to add uh, a verification code so we click on send verification by this time you should receive your emails already into your accounts if I go back to this other screen and click on inbox and give it some time <coughs> I should receive my emails into here so let's just check <coughs> It's not going into the spam. Go back and click. Okay, so sometimes the pin number doesn't come straight through. Not a problem. We just go back here and uh, ask for the email to be sent. So the email is being sent to info at dermalepo.com. and we come back here and we just click on refresh just to see if it's working and there it is uh, the emails come through um, from gmail team I click on this and uh, in here will be some links all I need to do is copy this confirmation code and on the other browser that I have open
I just paste my verification code into there and click on verify and that's it it's done <coughs> so now if I go back to this account and click on compose an email I can I have a drop down that I can choose if I want to send an email using info at Dermalepo or info at whichever company name and then I can also receive emails uh, using this and then you can see there's a label there which says email test which means that this email has been tagged with this um, this folder. I hope you found this beneficial and, uh, and uh, how to add an email into Gmail. Thank you.